the United States is preparing for um, a war against Russia through Ukraine. The idea is for this third world war to involve Russia and China against the West. Yeah. Oceania versus Eurasia. Yeah, yeah the, the 1984 kind of uh, scenario. And uh, what you um, have now is the demonization of Russia. Have you noticed that? Now suddenly the, the, we've got the demonize, demonization of Russia. And what's um, opening up um, in the Ukraine, while all this is starting to go on in the Middle East, is, is another front against Russia. Because, you know, it's very easy to see how Russia can be uh, pulled into this Middle Eastern uh, conflict by supporting Syria, because destroying Syria is, is, is part of ISIS's agenda and American agenda and, and NATO's agenda. And also Iran as well. Yeah, and destroying Iran, yeah. So, um, uh, and, and, and Russia would come out in support of Iran, and, and uh, the, the same would happen with China. Um, and so you can see how, it's, how, how the, the pieces in the, in, the, uh, in the game are being moved around to um, create the scenario that Pike talked about. And the, the, um, the idea is to um, basically um, bring everything to its knees so that um, the world would have to be rebuilt in its structure and the way it, 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 it operates. And it would, that would be in the image of what they've been working towards all along. World government, world central bank, world army, world currency, centralized control of the planet. Uh, and um, it's, very, um, it's very easy to see with current events how it's uh, moving in that direction. And uh, we, we need to um, understand what the goals are, to understand what the moves towards that goal, uh, that goal are. And um, when you look at it from this perspective, what is happening in the Middle East is not random. None of it's been random. Libya's not been random. S Syria's not been random. None of it. And ISIS certainly isn't random. Uh, it's part of this um, long-term plan to take over the world by creating enormous chaos to which they can offer the order out of the chaos, their order, their new world. With all the bombs that they're dropping on them. Yeah, in fact, um, a, a close um, aide uh, of uh, President Putin, uh, who, ha who has uh, special responsibility for Ukraine, has actually said this week um, that the United States is preparing for um, a war against Russia through Ukraine, and that what they plan is to try to take Crimea back. Now, um, you can have the odd bit of terrorism and, and bad things happen in Ukraine to Russian supporting people, and Putin can stay back and um, hold his fire because he knows what they're trying to manipulate him into. But if they try to take Crimea back, Putin's ego and Putin's pride will no way, I, I would strongly suspect, um, allow him just to let them do it. Exactly. And, and therefore, that if they try to tra take Crimea back, uh, then what you're looking at is a war, uh, or a calculated war against Russia. Yeah. And if you, if you start um, a, a front against Russia on its borders, and then all this stuff going on in the Middle East, you are, you are diluting Russia's impact on what's happening in the Middle East. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, 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 all, it's, all, it's all a setup.